Hey you guys, what up, what up? I wonder if I can start every single vlog sat here forever, for the rest of my life. It feels like a possibility right now. Today is Wednesday. Um, you will have, hopefully, all been well, already watched my birthday vlog on Friday, even though I have not yet turned 26, because I think I'm planning on literally just vlogging that day in a vlog on its own. And then this vlog is gonna have skipped Thursday out and spanned inside. Um, my mother is in a taxi on her way here now. Oh, did you hear that was my elbow? That was my elbow. <laughs> but once she has arrived, it shall be all systems go regarding getting the necklace album behind the sofa. Um, behind the radiator. If it was behind, I would love for it to be behind the sofa. That would seem much easier. Um, so yeah, she said she was coming with things that would make that possible. So that's the first thing that I'm going to make her do. I'll make her a cup of tea and then she has to try to get this necklace out because we are all waiting with bated breath. Um, so yes, and then we're going to go to the cinema later and I unfortunately have a bit more work to do. But you'll, you guys will know already whether the birthday vlog involved work or not. I'm hoping it's not going to and that I'm going to have got everything done. Um, but there's just no rest for the wicked, especially on the run up to Christmas. Look who's here. Unpacking. Oh, oh, here, she's already got out there. No, not quite, not quite. This, she brought me some gifts. Second. She bought me a lint advent calendar and some peanut butter that's made in Yorkshire and it says Nout But Nuts. Where did she get that from? Booths? Yes. How much was it out of interest? I bet it was like Three £10. Pound. No, £3. Three pound. Oh my gosh. And I bought some and it's really, really good. Oh. And of course, Booths is. is just for us. Yes. In North. North. Right. Well, are you doing this now? You've got about 10 minutes before the food have just ordered. Yeah, I'll we'll just have one go, but we need to cameras first, don't we? We need to see. Oh, phone cameras. Yes. Okay. Okay. Right, ready. Ready, ready. Huh? What did you say? Oh, you saw something. I saw somebody do something. I thought, oh, yeah, that was black. Ah. Me. Right, so what Which do you need to do? Where were you when you did here. it? Here, it happened here. Right. Sorry, it happened in this section just right. here. I like you film and see if we can then... Okay. Do you think it's in the middle section, do you? No, I'm just looking now and there's nothing in the middle section. No. So it can only be You agree with me, it's not there. So right now, this is when you have to use a camera. Okay, so she's convinced she was going to be able to see it. Well, but we can't see it, but I'm not glad because I still want to get it back, but glad that it's not me doing a bad job. Oh, I wonder if it's behind the bit of paper that's there. Well, you've got to have the patience of a saint to do this. Well, what are you going to do? Double sided tape. Double sided tape. Is this something you googled or thought of? Well, a bit of everything really. I've looked at various things. Just to see. I've got this, which, which is just like a stick thing, but I didn't know if it was long enough. It's oh, not. It oh, it is long. It is long enough, but it's not. I would have thought it wouldn't have been long enough. No, it is, and I've got that stuck. <laughs> There we go. But yes, that is because I can get that down there. But right. this was thinner. And I thought, well, that's really intelligent, actually, of somebody to suggest this as a way forward. Uh huh. And then what's all the different types of tape going to do? Well, I need something sticky to stick to this. I need to get a bit of. It's just going to add just purchase on it. Like a sticky ball in a minute, but I need something to stick sticky to that doesn't damage the. Damage the tape measure? Yeah, I don't want to damage the tape measure. I know what you're like with tape measures. Uh, <laughs> reckless. Okay, mm, so this is interesting. Hmm. Yeah, you saw, I told you there's all sorts behind there. It's a bit grim. There's bits of paper still. And I did find a sock the other day. Sticking to stuff. Oh, it's working already. Look at this <laughs> that she's got from there. Oh, that's awful. Thanks. <laughs> so you're going to go along each inch of the radiator with this? You are. Up again. But what am I trying to? I just don't think that's going to be strong enough to stick up the necklace, though. It, it could be, but until we get a bit of clarity, 
we need yeah see so we're going to clean the radiator essentially pretty much right but you're pretty certain it dropped here aren't yeah because yeah it was definitely around this area but well, then i've been under it. there oh, exactly so i could you have just moved your whole hand position oh well i don't know exactly that you know i would say a 12 inch window maybe <laughs> <laughs> Don't find it when I'm out the room. We'll have to drop it back down again. <laughs> right, I'm just gonna grab and see if the tea has gone past the point of getting too cold. Oh, my delivery is here as well. Oh, see, why is it so bright? Mm. Perfect. I won't make it to her though, because she's gonna have to come in here for food. Right, we've eaten our lunch. Back to the task. Mum just said she found a pack of contraceptive pills down the back. Put them back down there. It's really amazing what lives behind a radiator. Mm -hmm. This is the find so far, not including the contraceptive pill, which she dropped back in there. This item here that I'm using, in itself, is quite interesting because it's from the bad lads. What's the bad? Oh God! Mum has this thing where these et convicts so come around to the really house well. who reforming themselves, and she buys things like fridge fresheners and dryer this, balls for a useful thing and this off them yes. god god oh christ it's stressful watching this <laughs> <laughs> oh there's not much light in here do you wish to there's no um, the blinds up i don't have lights in here do i no you've got enough there got the contraceptive pill out into yeah, the pile it's clanking though right? something's clanking. would it clank would you expect because of the metal bit Yes, it would definitely clank. It's a big, it's all a chain. It's all a gold chain. Yeah, it's just, just trying to pick it up. It might just be, is it heavy? Yeah. Be that was problem. exactly the first thing I said to you that this wasn't going to be strong enough to pick up a what? gold chain. And you Excuse said, me, oh no, it will. It up. And I now, now she's changed the tune. But it's so hot, viewers. <laughs> so hot. <laughs> turned the because heating the off. The heating has come off. Turned it just off. Wrap around the bloody radiator. Yes, well, it's off now. It's still turned hot, it off. It's yes, I know, but it's cooling down. Can't make it cool down quicker. Well, it's I've, off. I found the item. Okay. Again, she's still going strong. She's strong. Please give Despite me the fact you just cannot see it at all, which is so confusing. Okay. Can you get? What do you need? The phone again. It's very annoying. I think we've no option but to call a plumber and ask him to. Well, it's, if it's not here, we can't see it. Well, but it is, is it? there. It just must be under all the dust for some reason or behind something. So I need to ask my landlady if I'm allowed to get a plumber in. Move the sponge. To get to, to thingy, to take the thing off the wall and then try and find it. Cut my hair. No? Well, yeah, I don't think having a sponge behind it. There's a sponge behind the radiator. radiator. Well, I'll say that to her, I'll say I've had a look and there's also some things of concern. Back there. Like a sponge. Like a sponge. Um, oh, dearie me. Well, thank you for your best efforts. I am I'm, I know you've tried really hard, but myself and the internet were convinced if anyone could do it, it was you, so it means it's definitely... Well, I was too! I know, but that's what I mean. It's definitely just vanished. Well, it hasn't just vanished, but it's... It's also just Life vanished. Doesn't do that. Life doesn't do that, but this time it has. It doesn't. What it's time is it now? Can't make lemonade. Half three. I mean, it's unbelievable. Things under here. Get out of the way. We're going to the cinema tonight to go see Bohemian Rhapsody. What time is the cinema at quarter to six? Yeah. I'm going to save myself the chocolate and get pick and mix eggs. They've got a posh pick and mix. Okay. And you can buy slices of cake. Okay. Going to the electric cinema on Portobello. Yeah, you can have alcohol as a bar. Um, that's our plan tonight. I keep thinking it's Friday night. Yes, I did actually. Coming down. Again. Fancy that. Fancy. Jeez. Too. You'd almost think we were related. Hello. Hi. We're back to the different vlog now. Anne's been putting artwork up. Cheeky little bitch. Just <laughs> put this one here. And just move out. You're saying this it's not exactly normal. No, it's fine. So I was initially thinking, 
Oh God, it's so much, there's so much shit on that table. I'm initially thinking that I was gonna need two side by side, but now I've got this one up, I'm not sure because of how wonderfully scented the plants are. So the new table will come in a week or so. And once that's come, I'm gonna make sure it's always tidy. Famous last words. And I'm gonna get a big dish to go in the middle to sit the plant on. And so now my thoughts are, do we think we can get away with just one picture? Just one picture if we always have quite an, an impressive bouquet of tall flowers in the middle, or do we still think it needs two? Mm, I'm not sure, let me see what you think. Right guys, the camera died when I was stood here talking about the table. Since then more parcels have arrived. <laughs> so now there's a parcel there. But yeah, let me know if you think I need to put a second picture there or whether it looks quite nice. And then, oh, and because that got moved, I've now just moved the two lamps there, and this is all looking like this, but I think I'm gonna move the cabinet back here and when the lamps for the side of the sofa arrive, try the sofa here, so it splits the room up, but I'm just waiting for those lamps to arrive, which is gonna take about six weeks, so quite a while, so I don't know whether to just keep it all very flat like this or move the cabinet back now. I don't know, we'll think about that. Mum put up the two Luigi prints here, which look really nice. This one, then, which you might remember from Manchester as well. That there, uh, this one here in the hallway. And then in the bedroom, I took the mirror down. It's a mess in here, guys. Oh, it's not so bad. And put that there, which I love with the colors of the... Oh, actually, that, doesn't that lamp look lovely with that light shining on it? It even matches my teddy bear. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, also, some slippers arrived. These have been sent to me from a brand called Ray Feather and they're personalised EH with some leopard print and they are like the most wonderfully I look in, oh god I look absolutely just sex on legs right now yeah they're very comfortable, very comfortable Mum and I have been doing accounts and things um, she's been tidying up stuff for me while I do some work editing bits and bobs just ordered myself some lunch because I am starving and um, I can get rid of this bag. Yeah, you can get rid of that bag. You can put those clothes in your office area. Then it's out of here, good idea. Thank you. We were just discussing the issue of the never ending parcels and cardboard. Going through them, putting them away somewhere. Any more hangers? Any more hangers? Hangers are easy enough to get. I know I am filling up that wardrobe. I have to do another clear out soon. Back to work for me. I'm going to get my nails done a little bit with Lynn's. Then I might go out for dinner tonight with Catherine. Ever so bright, aren't we? There we go. Um, but not sure of the plans vis a vis the dinner yet. Vis a vis. Vis a vis. Good morning guys, it's Sunday morning. I'm just packing a suitcase to go to Amsterdam and thought I'd just do the last segment of this vlog, um, which I know has been kind of short, but I'm all at home. Um, but I hope you don't mind, because she had an extra one on Friday too, and then testing basics will be finished really soon, just waiting for the last jumper to arrive. Um, so yeah, we went to Amsterdam today, like I said, and there's just some other bits and bobs I want to show you at home. I just edited the together this vlog, and in it I'm saying the table, my dining table's gonna come in a week. Well, it came yesterday, they literally emailed me like on the day, uh, or the day before saying, we've just got it and we're in London tomorrow, is there any chance you're available tomorrow? I was like, yes. And the delivery men were amazing. I'm obsessed with that, I'm gonna show you it now. I also want to show you my Sonos that I got for my birthday. Um, but I couldn't be happier with this table. So to remind you again, I got it from Redbrick Mill. You guys remember when I went there and showed you? And it's from a part in Redbrick Mill called the Design Quarter. I've already had a few messages on Instagram about it, so I'm gonna leave everything linked in the description box for it. Wait for this. Here it is. So the other one's still here. So this, the new one's looking tidy because all the rubbish is on that one. But I'm gonna try so hard to keep it like this. I'm really feeling like I don't need another picture on that wall now. Imagine like always having tall flowers, whether it just be lilies. Maybe I'll get a plant to go in this corner or something so that it's a bit more symmetrical. Um, but I'm obsessed with it. So you can have the leg, the glass legs in two different formations. I went for this angular one, which isn't the most practical, but actually sitting around because two people's legs are gonna bash into it. So you can have it in like a, 
um, a cross in the middle, which would be a lot more practical um, in terms of sitting around it, but I don't really have people around for dinner, so it has been more of an aesthetic choice. So it's got the glass legs and then this gorgeous light top and the wood is just amazing. Um, I was thinking I wanted to get new chairs, but I actually really like how these look. I really like not having two facings so that you see the legs when you walk in. If I did get new chairs, the ones I think I would want are, if anyone's been to the um, Garden de Tuileries in Paris, you know the really famous green metal chairs. They're a really amazing shade of green. I really want those. They're the chairs that I'd want to have, but I actually really like how these look, so I don't think I'm gonna make any changes to that for now. But I'm honestly just so, so, so happy with it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and it's got all like an uneven edge to it. And just, I like the different colors of wood that I've got going on in here now, because it makes it a bit less uniform with having this and then the darker woods over there. Oh, I cannot wait for that to be gone now. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try really hard to always keep it tidy and not like leave handbags on it and stuff. I'm just so pleased with it. So the things that I'm waiting for now are the two lamps to go on either of the little plinth things that I got. And then I'm gonna see what the sofa, let me go stand by the kitchen door. Then I'm gonna see what the sofa would look like there so that you would face the window on the sofa and it would really split the room up a bit more. Like, as you can see from here, it's all still like one big room. Whereas maybe if the sofa was out, it'd make you feel like two rooms. But I just wanna wait until I've got the lamps to go either side. Which is gonna be a few more weeks, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm so, so, so chuffed with this. I'm also very pleased with my Sonos. These are what mum got me for my birthday. So I got one for in here. And then I'm gonna stop talking for a second and I've got the other one in the office, but the distance between them is perfect so that the music never gets quieter between each room. I'm just gonna stop talking and walk from one room to the next. It's like continuous. I feel like maybe it was too quiet for you to be able to hear that, but it's kind of early on Sunday, so I don't wanna play it too loud because that's a bit, a bit disrespectful to the neighbors. But yeah, lots of nice new things that I'm excited about. Why have I left me coffee? Why is um, constantly leaving mugs in bizarre places? Um, yeah, I'm really pleased with uh, it's, it's on the it's on the sink of all places. It's the coffee. Um, I'm so pleased with the table. Like more happier with it than I imagined to be. Um, I'm just so excited about how everything's coming together. Um, and yeah, it's feeling really nice and cosy and I just want to be here all the time. I'm really excited about going to Amsterdam but there's this huge part of me that just wants to be at home all of the time at the moment which is such a nice feeling after my last flat I never really felt like I settled in and well I did settle and I, I loved it there um, and I, at the time I really thought I loved it but now living here and feeling so much more content with spending so much time on my own and being here all the time has really shown me the, the difference how I'm feeling in the two places. Um, so yes, I'm feeling really good. I'm gonna sign off this vlog here just so I can get this edited, put this last bit of footage in and then get it uploaded for you guys because it's like I said, it's Sunday morning now and I want you guys to be able to watch this today. Um, and then I'm gonna have testing basics really soon. Let me know if you've got any other requests or things you want, any styling videos. Oh, I saw all of the comments about um, not doing Canada Goose not doing Montclair for testing, if I do testing puffer, jack puffer jackets, I definitely won't do Canada Goose. Somebody told me that the that the down used in, I, need, I haven't researched this, this has just been word of mouth, but that the down used in Montclair is picked up off the floor, so, so it's like naturally shedded. I don't know if that's true, but I do know that they use coy coyote fur on some of their um, products. So they do use real fur, but then I also heard from the same person that the reason they use the coyote fur is because um, it's the only fur that doesn't freeze below freezing or something like that. So if you genuinely were like going up Everest or something, it's really essential. But obviously I don't want to promote something like that when I'm just going into Notting Hill and I don't really need something that can, you know, withstand below freezing temperatures. So I'm going to do some research. Um, but thank you for all of your comments. I know obviously I w won't promote anything that is unethical or treating animals unethically in that way. Um, and I know Canada Goose is known for it because they've always got people protesting outside the shop, don't they, on Oxford Street. So I'm gonna do some more research. Um, Everlane have one that I'd like to look at. I know Patagonia might be a really good one and I believe that they're known for being a very ethical brand. 
but just do correct me if I'm wrong. Please don't jump down my throat if I'm wrong, but do correct me if I'm wrong. Um, because I'm yet to do some research on it. But let me know if that thing about Montclair picking stuff off the floor is true or if that's absolutely not true. Um, I just wanted to say that I'd seen all of your comments about that and thank you. Um, but yeah, let me know if there's any other specific content that you would like to see from me. Thank you so much for watching, as always, and I'll see you in the next one.